friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis the sclera is not healthy it appears that the sclera is very thin from 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock so I'm going to avoid this area for incisions I made the side port a side port at 9 45 or 9 30 o'clock and air bubble has been injected beneath this air bubble type and blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule the dye is washed out and then the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now capsulorexis is to be done before that this is the main incision I'm making this main incision with my left hand and the main incision is at 2 o'clock or 2.30 o'clock and now rexis I'm using a 26 gauze bent needle for rexis. I have used this instrument for many cases, thousands of cases. So this is easy for me. Rexis is done. And now hydro dissection. Hydro dissection is being done with a 27 gauze cannula and BSS. Hydro dissection is being done at multiple points, and I find that the nucleus is free from the nucleus, it rotates nicely. Now inject visco again. And now the handpiece is held with my non dominant left hand and it is being introduced into the anterior chamber. And I aspirate some superficial lens matter, cortex and epinucleus for better visibility. Then I turn the handpiece with the help of my right hand hold it properly with my left hand and then I'm going to divide this nucleus into pieces I go into the substance of the nucleus the chopper is in my right hand and this is a nice crack I rotate the nucleus bury the tip at another place and get another piece rotate the nucleus almost 180 degree and get one more this semi nucleus is divided into two pieces then one more piece and now I am going to emulsify the nuclear pieces I am using 70% ultrasonic energy 45 ml permanent fluorite and no 35 ml permanent fluorite and 300 millimeter of mercury vacuum since I am doing with my non-dominant left hand I reduced the vacuum by 100 millimeter of mercury usually uh, 150 millimeter of mercury I usually use 450 millimeter of mercury vacuum in this case I'm using only 300 millimeter of mercury vacuum fluorite I usually use 45 ml per minute in this case I have used 35 ml per minute and the nucleus is nicely managed, safely managed. 
and now I'm going to remove the cortex I'm going to use both right and left hand I'm using the right side port and my right hand to aspirate the cortex from the left side say from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock and now I go through the main incision hold the Simco cannula with my left hand and the 10 cc syringe to aspirate is in my right hand and I could aspirate the cortex easily and in this case I didn't try hydro implantation because it appeared a bit cumbersome so I am I have filled off the capsular bag and the anterior chamber with 2% ACPMC. I have enlarged the main incision a bit which I have not shown and now I am going to inject the lens. Injection of the lens is being done by the non-dominant left hand. And the, and the intraocular lens goes into the capsular bag. I'm going to check whether it is in the capsular bag or not. Dial the lens and just over the at the areas of the haptics. If I can hook the rexus margin, it means the IOL is in the capsular bag. And now the viscoelastic substance is being removed using a using the 23G Simco cannula which I used for cortical cleanup. The Simco cannula goes behind the intraocular lens, irrigates the capsular bag because there is lot of visco that is behind the intraocular lens. And then the anterior chamber is also irrigated and aspirated and now bimanual irrigation aspiration is also used to remove the viscoelastic substance at this time vacuum is 300 millimeter of mercury and flow rate is 30 ml per minute the viscoelastic substance has to be removed very nicely to avoid post of rise of intraocular pressure which may be related to retained viscoelastic substance and now this is a bit of moxifloxacin the single side board that has been made in this case is being closed by hydrating corneal stroma on other side the main wound also has been hydrated a bit in this case and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber at this time any visco sticking to the corneal endothelium comes out the anterior chamber is very nicely formed the intraocular pressure is kept on the higher side integrity of all the wounds are checked few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded Thank you very much for your attention. Friends, we can do surgeries with our non-dominant hand. We just have to train our hand. Please be inspired by the studio of Karoli Takax, a Hungarian athlete who lost his dominant right hand in a training session while he was throwing a hand grenade. He trained his left hand and won Olympic gold medal in the rapid fire pistol shooting event not once but twice.